हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब एंड टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो दिस इज अ वेरी क्विक वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू यूज सेलेक्टर सब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न ऑल अबाउट सेलेक्टर सब इन डिटेल आई विल लीव द डिटेल टूटोरियल लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो प्लीज चेक इट आउट एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल आई वुड रियली रिक्वेस्ट यू एंड रिकमेंड यू दैट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग इनोवेशन अपडेट ऑन सेलेक्टर सब टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो और एनी न्यू टूल फ्रॉम माई एंड यू डोंट मिस एनी अपडेट ऑन दैट so it's very simple to use selectors hub after installing it you will not find the test case logo here so what you do click on this this is i'm showing on chrome similar you can use it on firefox as opera or any other browser whichever you want after that uh, just right click here click on inspect in the dev tools left side you will see the dom on the right side where to find the uh, selectors hub so it will be the last step generally so you click on this or you just expand it and then there you will find the selectors hub here as soon as you open selector sub you will see that all the generated selectors and everything will be uh, here so you see that this one is here uh, this is the element which we inspected so you will see all the generated possible selectors will be there if you scroll everything you will find it here here you can build your own xpath and css selector like in smart editor if you will do anything wrong it will suggest you the error messages and everything so this is really amazing and all those features are there like you can append the command you can generate multiple x path you can uh, use the debugger to inspect the dynamic drop down you can generate the x path with a single code uh, double code as per your requirement you can click and expand this expand the view so you will not have to uh, scroll up and down again and again if it is generating x path with text or with any specific attribute but you want that you can uncheck and check here it generates the dynamic xpath it suggests you whether the id or class is dynamic you can uncheck the id it will generate without id it is generating with class you don't want with class you can uncheck that so all those features are there it will uh, it is really amazing and really helpful to you guys so uh, this is really cool you can save this uh, xpath values like here itself in selector sub you need not to like go back and save somewhere in editor and then come back whenever like you have saved some value let's say you save this value and you now you want to access the previous value click here and get that so there are really amazing features it has the auto generated feature it supports the shadow dom this is the only tool which supports the shadow dom so uh, like whenever you any element if any element will be inside shadow dom it will let you know that if this element is inside shadow dom script complete script you will get it here you can copy and use it in your script so this is really cool then you have the iframe it has the iframe feature as well it supports iframe nested iframe shadow dom nested shadow dom so if you click on any element in inspect it will give you the iframe xpath inspected element xpath if element is inside multiple nested shadow dom shadow uh, multiple nested iframe then also it will let you know that inside how many nested iframe this element xpath for all iframe it gives you if element is inside nested shadow dom it will let you know that it is inside nested shadow dom you just inspect that element you see that it is telling you that inside two nested shadow dom host root x uh, selectors everything it will give you in the detail then if any element is svg and all this it will also help you with that this element is svg element so that is also you will learn so a lot of new things you will learn it really help you a lot in learning you see that if you copy the xpath value from tab tools and paste it here this generally generate the wrong svg xpath so so you will learn this from selectors of that whether this is right xpath or wrong format everything you will learn from here so there are really cool features which you will learn from selectors of i would really request you guys please support selectors of this will help a lot uh to grow the community uh, right now i have introduced this thing that uh you would be able to use the selectors of auto generated x path and selectors feature for 99 second in a in continuous in continuation after 99 second you will have to restart the like selectors of you will have to close that uh dev tools and open selectors of again now again for 99 second you would be able to use these uh auto generated selectors if you want to continue using uh selectors hub uh, for another 99 sec uh, as a editor you just close that uh, pop up which you get and then you would be able to use, use selectors hub so uh, i would request you that you ask your company to become the uh, patron of selectors hub rather than you becoming the patron because they would be able to uh, like get this master key of select uh, 
master patronki of selectors hub so here you can check it out like which all levels are there so ask your company to become the patron or if you want you can become the patron you can choose that whatever you want to support to selectors up and you you feel that this much value selectors up is giving to you guys so that you can do it will really help you i just need one percent user support so please guys support and don't give the bad rating for because of this uh, very soon all the features will be available for everyone i just added this thing so that like uh, uh, so we can support our community in community in better way so that is the reason that this uh, i have introduced i didn't want to like uh, uh, give up or anything so uh, so that is the reason that this has been added this has been introduced in selectors sub so that we can uh, i can develop more new tool i can provide better support to you guys more new features in selectors sub so uh, i hope you understand and this will help uh, our selectors sub community and each other to grow but uh, and if you doesn't want to uh, like close selector sub and you just want to uh, use it as an editor so you can keep writing it or otherwise simply just open it again that's all so this will save uh, uh, yeah save a lot of time a lot of good learning is there and this will definitely help you also like if you haven't tried the uh, haven't taken the selector sub certificate please take the certificate from here this is absolutely free almost everyone has taken it and this is this has really good quiz which will help you a lot to learn a lot of new things you can uh, also try test case studio this is really really amazing tool to write the manual test cases automatically and really helpful in regenerating the bug and it is also very helpful in documentation of test cases test steps so please check out this new tutorial available for all the browsers you can check out this video tutorial it's available in this youtube channel as well so do check out test case studio you will be amazed by this tool and please support selectors hub again i would request you please be a patron and support on being patron you will get a key which uh, uh, which will not uh, after putting that key here in selectors hub you would be able to use selectors hub flawlessly and there will not be any interruption like this you will get it when you will become the patron you will get this key that key you have to enter here and after that you see that you will be able to see all those features and this now if you will open selectors up there will not be any interruption there will not be any timer so you can use it continuously using without any interruption so i hope you find it useful and this will really help a lot to you and your team and it will really help you to uh, improve your efficiency work efficiency and productivity so please keep supporting and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel like and share share selectors of test case studio with everyone and help community and let's grow together with that thank you thank you so much